Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Good morning to you. Welcome. Glad that you're with us this uh, fine day in the Easter season. We rise to begin our matins with the opening versicle. to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Praise to you, O Christ, Hallelujah. And we sing together our psalm for this week, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our hymn for the week, hymn number 709. Her, her. 
reading from the Gospel according to St. John, the 10th chapter. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And I have other sheep that are not of this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life, that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. And we confess together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In our Learn by Heart this week, our scripture from John chapter 10, Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. In our catechism, our second and third questions on confession, what sins should we confess? Before God, we should plead guilty of all sins, even those we are not aware of, as we do in the Lord's Prayer. But before the pastor, we should confess only those sins which we know and feel in our hearts. Which are these? Consider your place in life according to the Ten Commandments. Are you a father, mother, son, daughter, husband, wife, or worker? Have you been disobedient, unfaithful, or lazy? Have you been hot-tempered, rude, or quarrelsome? Have you hurt someone by your words or deeds? Have you stolen, been negligent, wasted anything, or done any harm? Can you imagine a shepherd who loves his sheep so much that when a predator comes, like a wolf looking for an easy and tasty meal, the shepherd would give up his own life rather than have even one of his sheep die. A shepherd who would rather be the predator's dinner so that his sheep could live. That would be pretty incredible, don't you think? Well, that's exactly how Jesus describes himself today. Normal shepherds, he says, when they see a wolf coming, run away. They protect themselves because you can always get more sheep, but you only get one life. And besides, it's just a job being a shepherd. And giving up your life for the sheep is not in the job description. If it's your life or the sheep's life, that's not a decision that takes very long to make for a normal shepherd. 
But Jesus is no normal shepherd. He says, I am the good shepherd, and you are his sheep. And to the good shepherd, taking care of you is not just a job. He loves you. He loves all his sheep, each and every one of you. And he knows you, he says. Which doesn't just mean that he knows who you are, but that you're like family to him. So when the wolf comes, and it's either Jesus who gets devoured, or the sheep who gets devoured, for Jesus that's no choice. He will be. He lays down his life, gives up his life for you. He would rather be devoured by the wolf than you be devoured, which is pretty incredible, don't you think? But if you think about it, it's not really very smart. For once the wolf devours the shepherd, there's no one left to protect and take care of the flock, is there? So Jesus does something else pretty incredible. He rises from the dead. So he lets the wolf devour him instead of you, and then he rises from the dead so that he can continue to protect you and care for you. So the wolf can't have any of his sheep. That's what this coming Sunday called Good Shepherd Sunday is all about. Satan wants to devour you, but Jesus won't let him. Jesus loves you so much that he would rather die than you die. So Jesus laid down his life for you in your place. But that doesn't leave us shepherdless or open to the attacks of Satan. No. For then on Easter, Jesus rose from the dead to be our shepherd who cannot die again. So you have a shepherd in Jesus who stands between you and the satanic wolf. He's not leaving. He's not going to let any of his sheep get devoured. So Jesus is not only your good and loving shepherd, but also your forever shepherd. And in his flock, you live safe and secure. So when you see the evidence of Satan in this world, all of his bite marks, all the sin and evil and war and death and destruction all around us, which can be frightening, know that you're not alone. Your good shepherd is right there with you, and he's not going anywhere. We continue with the singing of the canticle, the Te Deum. Upon 
upon yourself to deliver man. You humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right Continue with the prayers, beginning with the Kyrie. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Almighty God, merciful Father, since you have wakened from death the shepherd of your sheep, grant us your Holy Spirit, that when we hear the voice of our shepherd, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for Abby and her parents. Bless her family with forgiveness and love. Watch over and protect them in all their ways. Help her to learn and help her parents to teach her. Especially, help them all to grow in your word and in faith and in knowledge of you and your love, and give them joy and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, it's not always easy to love and forgive people. Sometimes I don't want to, but help me to. Help me to love them and forgive them as you have loved and forgiven me. 
And so show them your love, your forgiveness, and the new life you give through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Well, thanks for coming. The Lord be with you. Have a great day and a great weekend and hope to see you Sunday for Good Shepherd Sunday. And remember, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.